why I need to find this footage because if that's out in the world, I don't want it. Hello everyone, please get nice and cozy. I know you're all sitting inside and don't have much else to do. I'm gonna pour myself some tea. Please feel free to do the same. I hope everyone is staying inside. I hope you're wearing a mask if you go outside, only to go to the grocery store and on walks. I have a story and I've been meaning to tell the story for quite a while. I thought I would do it now. As you could see from the name of this video, I was on Japanese TV. So before I came to Japan, my family and friends kept saying to me, Naya, I feel like you're gonna be on Japanese TV. I'm going to teach English though, I'm not doing acting anymore. No, like I feel like you're gonna be on Japanese TV. Okay, maybe. In the past, I did uh, background work for TV, so I've been on a lot of film sets. It's pretty normal for me, but this wasn't. On December 5th, I was strolling along. I was really craving some delicious vegetables. I love to go to vegan restaurants. My favorite one in particular, shout out, is called Mumokuteki. When I approached Mumokuteki, two of the waiters were standing outside staring at me. The like, wait, they can't be they can't be looking at me, right? That's really strange. You know when you see something like in the wrong place? I didn't know why they weren't working, because it's a really busy cafe. So I was approaching to enter and they just went Hello! Do you want to be in an interview? You will get free meal. Free meal. Okay, yes, I didn't even have to ask any more details. I was about to get a free meal. Yes, I will get my free meal and go be interviewed. I thought they were just going to interview me and give me a meal and I was going to leave. That was not what happened. So I go upstairs and I enter the dining space and I'm like, what is going on here? I see just all these Japanese people um, in groups, like no one's by themselves. So they're all in groups at tables and then they just take me and tell me to sit down somewhere. Now I look around the room and I notice at every place setting, there is a meal from the menu. So I look around at all these meals and I'm like, all right, choose your fighter. I'll begin. So I sit down in front of this delicious salad with roast vegetables over like an avocado toast. Gluten-free avocado toast. Beautiful. As I was looking around in awe at all of my favorite meals for free in front of me, I realized that they'd probably been sitting there for a while and were cold. So I sat in front of the salad. Smart girl. I was afraid to touch the salad because I didn't see anyone else touching their food and I thought, okay, they're going to film. People keep coming over to me and they don't know how to say something to me and then they just kind of walk away. Then someone brings me a piece of paper. It's like a contract I have to sign. So I have the contract here. Okay, interviewee broadcasting written agreement. I hereby accept listed matters below when I am interviewed and broadcasted by the following program. Now, I'm going to tell you the following program because I have still never seen this. It makes me so uncomfortable that I was on Japanese TV and I don't know what I looked like. That was probably a damn fool. Program title. Akira Ikegami presents What is Kanzai that Kanzai Jin never know? Never knows. That's not right. Airing Tuesday, January 14th, Kanzai TV, and it did not say what time, so that's why I never saw it. All right, so I signed the contract and I'm sitting there and then I see like a full on camera crew and this really directory man. I'd, I'd been around directors, so I knew this was the director. He just commands the space, gets everyone quiet and starts speaking passionately, really passionately in Japanese. All the Japanese people are like, hmm, hmm. 
Mm. And I'm like... So I had no idea what he was saying. He was speaking like that for, <laughs> it felt like 10 minutes. He was speaking like that and he was giving some directions on what to do and he disappears. And no one translated it for me. Everyone starts eating their meal, but I don't see the cameras rolling and I thought they would record us eating the meal on camera. So I'm sitting there eating and then they plop down. Sorry, I almost spilled my tea. They plop down this burly blonde American in front of me and I'm like, hi, we we're talking and he was asking me if I knew what was going on and I said no. He said his friend works at the restaurant and asked him to be in it because they needed foreigners and they didn't know how to find any foreigners to be in this. That's how they got me apparently. They needed a foreigner desperately. So we're sitting there, we're eating and talking. Nothing's being filmed in our section of the restaurant, but in another section, like a private room, it looks like there's a comedian in there. And it looked like the whole gimmick they were trying to pull was that like he thought it was real meat and it was vegan. Like the classic vegan advertisement. Then, they tell us to get up and move to a bigger table. This is when it gets really fun. When we moved to the next table, there was a new meal on the table. Meal number two, free meal number two. Tea. So I'm eating free meal number two. It's great. I'm living. And then they plop down two more, more foreigners. foreigners. And they sit down and they're like, Do you know what's going on? I don't know what's going on. Do you know what's going on? What's your name? Where are you from? Do you know what's going on? How did you find this? No one knew what was going on in the foreigner corner. Then someone comes over and pulls the two new people we just met from the table and move them to another table. We kind of gathered that they wanted it to look like couples were at this cafe, like foreign couples were at this cafe. The camera crew just busts right in. They say something in Japanese we don't understand. And then they bring over pancakes. And then they tell us not to eat the pancakes. Then they take away the pancakes. Now my heart broke just a little because I had already gotten two free meals, but I wanted some damn pancakes. And then chaos erupts. They just start screaming, pancakes, pancakes. And people like from the kitchen are bringing pancakes. And they're just like putting pancakes down at all the tables. You get a pancake, you get a pancake, you get a pancake, you get a pancake. Then this guy comes over to me and my big foreign boyfriend and asks if we can speak Japanese. So I'm like, Skoshi. the other guy's like, yeah. they say, okay, now when the camera rolls, eat the pancakes and speak in Japanese. The camera rolls, we eat the pancakes. over and over again. This is why I need to find this footage because if that's out in the world, I don't want it. Then they just cut and they're like, hey, and they leave. Okay, was that it? No, it wasn't it. The comedian guy comes out. He just like runs out. Like he just runs out from the other room. I'm like, oh my God. And they go to the first table and they start interviewing them. So it's the first foreigner table. I'm trying to remember what he asked. I think he asked, where are you from? Um, do you like the pancakes? Uh, what are pancakes like where you're from? What am I gonna say about these pancakes? What am I gonna say about the pancakes? He comes over and then I find out that all this time they had a translator because there's a translator. So the translator's standing there and he's like, oh, do you need a translator? I'm talking to the guy and I'm going to reenact what I think I did. Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, 
I'm from New York. What do you think of pancakes? Like, what are pancakes like in New York? Iconic in New York. Like, the, the pancakes are so big and like buttery and so heavy. And these pancakes are so light and fluffy and so nice and delicate. I really like them. Wait, 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 I forgot. They told us to say they were low calorie. Yes, the pancakes in New York are so heavy and very buttery and these ones are so light and I think they're low calorie. Which pancakes do you like better? Mm, difficult, so difficult. I love the pancakes from America, but these pancakes are really delicious. So I think these ones. That was a total exaggeration, just so we are aware. I guess that's why they wanted foreigners because we're so obnoxious. Eating our pancakes, just like romantically sharing these pancakes with a total stranger. They eventually let us go. And when I walked out of the place, they just gave me an apple. Thank you. It was a really good apple. Okay, fast forward to a month later. I had not forgotten about this experience. So the week rolls around that it's supposed to air on TV and I have no idea what channel it's on or what time it's supposed to air. So I did not see it, but I was at work and one of my favorite students walks in. He's just checking in and then he spots me and he's like, Okay, so I'm just standing there mortified in front of all my staff who were just staring at me like What is this man talking about? I turned so red and then he just starts describing the whole thing that happened on TV in Japanese to the staff at the school and I'm like <laughs> And I tell him like I have not seen this I don't know how to find it like if you can find it please send it to me because i have no idea what i looked like and it's freaking me out that's pretty much the end of the story but to this day i have not seen this it aired on january 14th on kansai tv uh if anyone finds this please send it to me please tell me it makes me so uncomfortable that something is out there <laughs> that involves me talking about pancakes and I just have never seen it so yeah that is the story of how I was on Japanese TV stay inside story time see you